Waverly, Alabama. Squirrels playing in the road. Careful, Bucky. Oh, they want to stay together. They're Little building down here. Top. What has an arch top? That fire hydrant. Oh. I love orange. So we're just doing a little quick drive through. A little recon for this little town that's off the highway. The highway was built around it. And it's kind of just a very peaceful little place. There's the Methodist church. Nice old houses. I don't know anything about this town. I don't know how friendly it is, how not friendly it is. So right now we're just doing a little drive through. Little gas station right there. Yeah. Actually uh, a particular little row of houses that uh, I wanted to uh, share. So we're gonna do a little drive by. There's a lot of modern homes here too, but look at this. antique store and they've really kept their buildings in good shape it's really nice to see there's a cemetery So I know this video is choppy as I'll get out, but I'm going to uh, say exit. I'm going to back up. I'll get back with you. So the sign says, uh, very understandably, to maintain a respectful attitude, and uh, I do not want to uh, come across as not doing that. I just I wanted to show you these particular graves. This little line of graves here. Mary A. G., wife of Alan L. Bailey. Really hard to read. Old wrought iron fence. This is Waverly, Alabama, and this is an old community, and on the way out, we're just driving through today, oh, doing some other stuff and saw this, but on the way out, I'll uh, show you some like super old uh, houses that are sitting along the road uh, from the car. Okay, so here is a grave Stacy spotted on our way out, and uh, let me get the camera turned around and she'll read it to you. 
Uh, hold on one second. All right, go ahead. James Washington Mayberry, born 1790, Birmingham, England, come to America about 1805, died March 18, 1872, Waverly, Alabama. A just man made perfect. Wow. There's a little slice of Alabama history local to this place. It's, it's a very nice, peaceful little place. And normally I'm sad when the highway runs through and cuts off a town. In this case, I'm kind of glad because they've got a really peaceful little little place here. Go ahead. Um, Jack Mayberry, son of Charles W. Mayberry and Lucy Cooper, born December 22nd, 1858 in Oaksbury, Alabama, died June 1st, 1860 in Waverly, Alabama. Jack's twin sister died December 22nd, 1858, buried at Oaks, Oaksbury, Alabama. Interesting. So the baby was born, the baby girl died when she was born and then the little boy died two years later. That's really sad, but it's it's nice that they remembered her on this street town. Yes. And over here, this is a, uh, that this guy built him a little complex. It says P. Ridge to be like he got a sign. Yeah. This does not look like a town. That's really interesting. I wonder, he's got him a nice little complex over there. But it doesn't look like it. Like Stacy said, it doesn't look like a town. It is his own little town. I mean, we're in Waverly, so it's gotta be like his own little Yeah, I, I gotta research this. But his sign says no haters, like. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Well, we're not, definitely not haters. We, uh, we actually are in love with stuff like this. Okay, so I know that was a whirlwind tour. We're not out shooting today. We just happened to come through here. We thought about it and uh, decided to drive through it and it was a little more than I could bear. I had to shoot something. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this little snippet. Maybe we'll, uh, sometime we'll come back and have a look at it once I figure out whether it's safe or not. <laughs> but uh, we'll see you down the road.